Oh. Everybody doing on this wonderful day. Good morning. If it's not good morning, good afternoon. If it's not the afternoon, good evening. Shout out to everybody vibing with me. I said, yo, I have to do a mock draft in this scenario. Like, just imagine. Just imagine the Minnesota Vikings signing Kirk Cousins to a two-year extension. I'm not the biggest fan of Kirk Cousins. I'm not a hater of Kirk Cousins. I'm right in the middle. I, I think he's a good quarterback, but I'm ready to move on and get our guy. But this is the best mock draft if we happen to keep Kirk Cousins. This is not what I want, though. I ain't going to lie. I don't want to keep him, but this is just in case. So hopefully they copy this mock draft. And y'all let me know in the comments below what do you think about this draft. And, um... Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you haven't already. If you're a Minnesota Viking fan, it's definitely going down. We're going to get straight to it. We're not going to keep on just talking and talking. We're going to get right to it. So, let's see what we do. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to each and every one of y'all vibing with your boy. All right, so we didn't trade. We didn't make no trades or nothing. This is what we're doing. This is the best case scenario, in my opinion. If we keep first cousin, Captain Kirk, you know the vibes. All right, so let's just say we keep him, right? And we're going to look at the best available, right? We just want to look at the best available at number 11. Nate Wiggins is right there. Dallas Turner is right there. Jared Verse is right there. Ooh, we got. Uh, all right, so this is what we're going to do, bruh. I'm not gonna play no games, and I know this. My this this. I, I, matter of fact, we are gonna make a trade. We are gonna make a trade because you know we want to get every. We gotta get as many picks as possible. That's the way I'm looking at it. Quality picks. And and and, and I'm gonna keep it real, bro. Like I'm just hoping just to trade. Let's see if this gets this three percent chance of this getting accepted. I don't know. We are gonna see. Raiders, if you want it, you're gonna do it. They do it. So we get rid of the 11th pick to trade a couple of spots down and get an extra additional second round pick. I think that's a good start for us, y'all. Let's resume the, the draft. Let's see what else we got in the works. We got another trade offer. So we got two second round picks right now, y'all. You want? Oh, so you want the Bengals? Okay, 49th pick. Okay. We, you, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can get. So we'll give you the second because 42nd. Right, that's all cool, but I want your third. I want your, I want your, of course your 18th. The, <laughs> of course your 18th. <laughs> uh, they said this will not get accepted, but I definitely want your second. They said this will not get accepted. Well, bro, like what do, you, like if you don't want it, bro, then you're not gonna, like come on, bro. Maybe I give you a, a the 148th pick, right? They said this trade will not be accepted. The, like, what do you really want, bruh? Like, what what do you really want? Because I don't want your just your third. I want a second. We want second. That's all we want in this draft. We want second. If you want a first, we want your second. All right, let's see. All right. Maybe we'll give you the 108. What? They still won't accept that. All right, we not even gonna, we ain't gonna waste no time. We just gonna just draft the player then. We're not gonna sit here and beg you for picks, bro. We're not gonna nah. So let's get. All right, so Nate Wiggins is a straight up probably the best corner in this draft. Jared versus available. Um, Arnold has a say cornerback as the best CB in the draft. Some people might think he's the best cornerback. Mitchell as well. We could get wide receiver Brian Thomas Jr. from LSU. He could possibly be the second best wide receiver on the team. Jordan Addison will have have a fight on his hands because you know who number one is. Justin Jefferson is definitely number one when it comes. And we got Kool-Aid. I like his name. But we're going to go. Let's just do this. All right, because we want all right, Newton. I think we're going to have to go this route, to be honest with you. I think he dropped in the draft. Let's see his stats. Newton, um, 84.9, 12 games, 8 sacks, 7 hits, 28 hurries. First look, 295 pounds, 6'2". We're going to go Newton, Illinois. We're going to get him. 
Welcome to the Minnesota Vikings. Got to get that D-line together. You feel me? So we're going to the second round. We got the 42nd and I believe the 44th. Two second round picks. High in the second round. So we're going we gonna, we gonna to work our magic, man. We're going to work our magic. All right, so look. This is the best case scenario. If we keep Kirk Cousins, I'm gonna keep it a thousand. I'm gonna keep it real. We need to get this. We gotta get the center, bro. I believe he's probably the best center available in this draft. I know people might be like, Nah, man, don't go center, man. I understand how y'all feel. I understand, but we might have to go center. I'm gonna look and see what else we got available. Um, Chop Robinson. Ooh, that's another one. But maybe I can get Chop Robinson at 44. So let's get the the best center. Let's get the best center available in this draft, debatably. And then we got 44th pick. And then we're going to go possibly go get, let's see, Chop Robinson at, uh, yeah, we're going to get, let's see what the trade offer is real quick. I think I'm just going to go that route. 53rd, you crazy. We're drafting Chop Robinson right here. We're not going to play no games. Chop Robinson, welcome to the Minnesota Vikings. I draft him a lot. <laughs> in every mock draft, I draft I draft Chop, Chop Robinson. He's a beast, though. I can't deny it. He's a beast. And then welcome to the Minnesota Vikings. So we got our center. That was a big question mark for the Minnesota Vikings because Bradbury is just, come on, man. Like, I, I, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I don't know how long it takes for this team to figure out that some players just ain't. So we go all the way to the fourth round, eighth pick overall because he didn't have a third round pick. And I think I'm going to go, um, I'm thinking Bucky Irvin, to be honest with you, because I'm thinking of like we need to get a running game. But for some reason, I feel like we're going to get a veteran running back. I, I truly feel like we're going to get like a Derrick Henry. I think we're going to get a big name running back in this offseason. I just have a feeling. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, 88.1 overall grade, 14 games played from Oregon Ducks, 6.4 per carry, 11 touchdown, 55 catches for 395 yards. Um, I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. Like, I think I might go this route, to be honest with you, because we just need a running game. We witnessed what we, we, we witnessed it, man. And I don't want to have to go through that again. So I'm going to go Bucky Irvin from Oregon Ducks. So we got our running back. We got a D2. We got the we got the defensive and we got even though honestly we should have probably went quarterback in the second round to be honest with you, but we just want to just keep rocking. We're going to just keep rocking. Jordan Travis. Oof. Oof. Should I should I wait and see if I can get Jordan Travis? I think I'm going to wait because, you know what I mean, we got Kirk Cousins. And I understand people are like, yo, just go get a quarterback in the first round. I understand that that's definitely what I would love to as well to sit behind Kirk. But I just feel like if we sign up for the two-year extension, bro, like <laughs> he ain't going over. He ain't going nowhere for two years. They're putting all their eggs in one basket and they're just going to ride out with Kirk if they happen to sign him the contract that he wants. So that's what I'm thinking right now. And um, let's see what we got available right here. Best available. Let's look at um. Let's look at four. That's four right there. So what I'm gonna what I'm thinking is I'm gonna go wide receiver. Um, Jack Saint from Georgia. I think I'm gonna get the wide receiver. To keep it real with you, then then again that tackle, Christian Jones from Texas, and the only reason why I'm thinking tackle because I'm thinking of Brian O'Neill. We just need to get more, more bodies in there because you know we got hurt, we got jacked up from the floor up. Not not even trying to be funny when I say that we got jacked up from the floor up when it comes to the offensive line, or we could go Malik Washington from Virginia wide receiver so it's between honestly i'm gonna say between these two um i'm gonna go tackle just we just need some more bodies on the offensive line and then hopefully jordan travis 
I know he's coming off that major injury. This is fifth round. So hopefully we can get him in the fifth round. Let's see what if he's available. Hopefully he is available, but we shall see. Please be available. And he is available, and we can get him in the fifth round. I know a lot of people, some people are starting to like Joe Milt in the third. You know what I mean? Who would you rather have? Would you would you go Jordan Travis coming off a major injury? He sits behind Kirk for a couple years. The time he gets, gets his stuff together, he might be that guy. You know what I mean? Before he got hurt, he was balling. So I might go to Jordan Travis. I don't really know too much about Joe Milt in the third. So I'm going to just keep it. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Unfortunately, Jordan Travis got hurt he played only 11 games and it's unfortunate man 20 touchdowns two interceptions yards 200 and 755 passing yards completion rate in is 63.7 passing yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna draft jordan travis and hope that he gets healthy and he'll be back in time when kirk cousins is finally not on the on the uh, on the Vikings. So, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know about <laughs> Jordan Travis or Joe Mil Milton the third because I know a lot of people are like, "Oh, just get the healthy quarterback." I understand. And I understand people are like, "Yo, we, the first priority is quarterback." But this is just if they put all their eggs in one basket, y'all. Like, cause you know, they people, you know, they love Kirk, and we'll see what happens, bro. There's a lot of rumors that. He might go to the Falcons. He might go to the Patriots. He might go to the Steelers. We, I got to see it to believe it. Until then, bro, anything can happen, bro. Anything can happen. So we do got our quarterback for the future. It's in the fifth round. We'll see what happens. It's all about developing because, like I said, there's no perfect prospect. No perfect prospect in any position. You have to develop them. So we'll see what happens when it comes to that. Let's go get our linebacker. I don't know. Should we get a linebacker? Dolan Hoffman. Um, and we are in the fifth round, but you know we can find those, um, those players that people don't give a chance. I'm gonna. I'm honestly, I'm gonna go Michael Barrett. I draft him a lot as well, but I feel like we do need to get that linebacker. And that defense, I believe he, he was from Michigan. That defense was the number one defense for a reason and he's part of that reason that defensive line definitely but he's part of that reason in that linebacker core i like him all right let's go let's go we at three more picks y'all so we might have to go in free agency for corner to just keep it real with you and i'm not even going to look at the trade options to keep it real but i'm going to look and see um when it comes to the corners and the best available corner is and then let's see what's going on from Tennessee. And he's 85.7, only played seven games. And this is the guy I draft. I go to, I draft him a lot as well. But, you know, it's just the injury history. You know what I mean? We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But I think I'm just going to go him, to be honest with you. And like I said, we're going to probably get another corner in free agency. Same with running back. And I actually want to, the last pick, or this pick coming up in the sixth round. I'm going to probably look at guard. Let's see what the best available is first. But Trevor Keegan. That, there you go. My guy Trevor Keegan. <laughs> available. So um, I'm probably going to go that route. Because I want to make sure we have some bodies on that offensive line. Because I'm thinking of it like this, man. Like Dalton Reisner. Are we going to re-sign him? And that's a big if. But. Trevor Keegan is is I feel like he will be a good pickup, but I always draft him. So I, I'm gonna I would pick Trevor Keegan most times, but I'm gonna go another direction in this particular draft, and I'm going to look at let's see what else is available. You got tackle linebacker Chambers tackle um, Cedric Johnson from Mississippi. Um, people would think I'm reaching there. Tight end from Florida State Bell, wide receiver from Tennessee. Uh, what y'all think in the chat, man? What are y'all thinking, bro? Like, should I just like <laughs> go best tight end? Cause we don't know about let's look, let's see what from Kansas City, Ben. 
Let's see what's up with him real quick before I even go that route. And my phone's going off. Sorry about that. 12 games played. Recovered six. Targeted 73. 669 yards. 13.9 per catch. Um, Six touchdowns. First look. Let's look. Six foot four. 245 pounds. Hmm. Let's look at corner. Let's look at corner. Corner. All right. Wow, they got them in the 210. That's the next highest ranked corner. All right, let's just go with my tight end. I'm going to get with my tight end. Right? And then my last pick, we just want to get best available, and we're going to go from there. Best available, and we're going to go from there. But I like this draft. It, 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 this is if we happen to want to keep Kirk Cousins. And I, my first priority for me is I want to get our quarterback as soon as possible in this draft. But if it happens to go the other way around, I think Jordan, Tra uh, Jordan Travis is – his, his potential is so high. And before he got hurt – who knows where he would have been ranked when it comes to this draft. He could have been a top three pick. He could have been a top four pick. Who knows? A top two pick. Um, he was doing his thing before he got hurt. So it just really depends. And last pick, I'm going to just go. I'm going to go defensive end Duke, Kansas City. Let's just look at him real quick before I even. Let's see, 74, six sacks. Let's see. First look, 200. All right, we're going to draft them. So that's the draft. Best case scenario, if we happen to keep Kirk Cousins for two years, three years, five years, 100 years, who knows how many years. But y'all let me know in the comments below what you think. And we're going to see what this, this, this draft grade is, what the PFF grades us, even though we really can't go by that because a lot of the time they don't even know what they be talking about. But let's see what happens. Let's see. Let's see. This, 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 is, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's go. All right. So for that first trade, they gave me a B plus. I gave up the, the 11th pick for the 13th pick and an additional second round pick. That should be an A plus. Like what? And I drafted debatably one of the best defensive linemen in this draft, Newton. I think he dropped A plus on that. And then for the first pick in the second round, I drafted debatably the best center. They gave me a C plus, but I don't care because I know how important the center position is. And then in the second pick that we had in the second round, which was the 44th overall, I drafted Chop Robinson from Penn State, which I I like a lot. I, man, he's one, he's going to be a star in the NFL, in my opinion. And I'm going to keep it real with, I like Bucky Irvin. Sorry about my battery about to down this computer. I got to end this. I got to end this, man. But uh, Christian Jones tackle, we had to get that together. Jordan Travis's potential, A minus. Michael Barrett, A minus. Uh, Haddon from Tennessee, I like him a lot. Ben, tight end, and then Duke, defensive end, last pick, and they gave us an A, solid. Y'all let me know in the comments below. I'm out. What you grade this draft, man? Let me know. I think I did pretty well, but y'all let me know. Peace.